abstract. Now, in the second part of the unit 5, we are going to see the cost curve of thermal power plant. What is the cost curve that we are going to be study over here? Here, generator operating cost, okay, if you observe, only we are going to consider thermal fuel cost for economical dispatch, not hydro, not nuclear. Remember that here we are going to be consider only thermal fuel cost for economical dispatch. You may have the question, why? In a hydropower plant, we already know the operating cost is nearby or approximately equal to zero. Why? Because water is the free of cost which is available in a dam. So we are not considering its cost curve. Second one is the nuclear power plant. As we already know, nuclear power plant is always operated at a constant power output. Okay, and it is also used as a base load nuclear power plant. It means what? Once the nuclear power plant is started, it never stops. Switching on and switching off a nuclear power plant suddenly is not possible. Let us consider for a 50, 100 or 500 megawatt electrical energy is generated by nuclear power plant. All the 500 megawatt power we have to be used. So we are not consider here economic dispatch or we are not considering the cost curve of a nuclear power plant. As we already know, it is not included for the cost curve. Is it clear? Here, now if you observe the curve, cost curve of a thermal plant is convex structure. The structure is a convex one. And then a y-axis is the operating cost per hour. Operating cost in a per hour. X-axis, we are having the output power in terms of megawatt as we are generating the power in terms of megawatt unit. Now, if you see over here, it is a convex structure as I am showing over here. It is the convex structure and it has a two point. First one is the minimum power output. Second one is maximum power output over here. Now, if you observe here, the minimum power output below which the generation is totally uneconomical. Here we have seen the minimum generation is uneconomical. Where it is uneconomical? At the minimum power output. We already know the thermal power plant, in a thermal power plant, the 30%, approximately 30% of the power is used for auxiliary supply only. For example, battery charging, protection purpose or uh, lightning itself in a generation that 30% power is required itself. So our generator below 30% is totally uneconomical. So we should fix the limit below which the generation is uneconomical. So that is shown by the minimum value of a generation. Second point, we are having the maximum point generation. Okay. That before going for the second point here, minimum generation is any current call. It is also having the two steps. That is the fuel combustion stability and generator design capacity. A generator design capacity means already we know if your generator is designed for a 50 megawatt, we have to use the 50 megawatt of its capacity for an economic purpose. Is it clear? That it means. Second point, we are having the maximum power output. Okay. Maximum generator power output is depend on its rating of a generator unit. Here, maximum generation is depend on rating of the unit. Are you getting? It means, as we already consider, if you are having the 50 megawatt of generating power plant, it means maximum how much power we are going to be used? Correct? 50 megawatt. Above that, overloading is there, as I am showing over here. Overloading is again uneconomical. So what is the upper limit? That is the maximum power output. That is the rating of a unit. Is it clear? So this is also uneconomical when we move the above the rated value. So this is shown in this graph. 
are in this curve, that is the cost curve. Here, what is the cost? Ci, I, th, I is in the ith unit, Ai plus Bi, Pgi, here Pgi means generator power output of ith unit plus Ci, Pgi square. This is quadratic equation. Is it clear? Where Ai, Bi, Ci are the constant, where Pgi is the generator power output. Isn't it? So this is the cost curve of a thermal power plant. Next, here in this cost curve of thermal power plant, next part we can see the input output characteristics of thermal unit. Here, it is nothing but the graph of input power versus output power by considering what is the gross input here. Gross input we are I can consider either H or F. Here on Y axis, we can put H or F. On X axis, we can put the output power in terms of megawatt. Now, if you consider as a H on a Y axis, it is the British thermal unit per hour. That is heat input, BTU per hour. H indicate hour. That is British thermal unit per hour. Or as a second one, we can consider as a F, that is, Operating cost rate, that is, if you multiply British thermal unit per hour by means of fuel cost, we are getting the operating cost rate, that is the fuel cost multiplied by H over here. Okay, it is propagated operation and maintenance cost. Okay, that both are going to be considered. Now, if you observe what the structure over here, they are getting the constant H, British thermal unit over here. But if you observe, it is a continuously, again, a Conway curve. But remember that this one is the continuous Conway curve. Previously, what we are having, this is a discontinuous. If you look clearly, it is a discontinuous in nature. But here, it is the continuous convex curve we are obtaining. Okay. Here also having the minimum point and maximum point. Sometimes the it should be in terms of rupees per hour or dollar per hour, depending on the country. Is it clear? Now, what is the quadratic function of a power output? We can express in terms of either two, either British thermal unit or operating cost rate, H or F. H I for the ith unit is equal to AI plus beta I PGI plus gamma i pgi square again here pgi is nothing but the generator power output remaining ai beta i and gamma i is the constant one similarly the second quadratic equation is in terms of fi that is operating cost rate the unit is rupees per hour which is equal to ai plus BI, PGI, plus CI, PGI square. Again, AI, BI, and CI is nothing but the constant. This is the input output characteristics of thermal unit. It includes the cost curve of a thermal power plant. So you must be understand there is an upper limit and lower limit for the generation to be considered whether the power plant operation is economical or not. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.